So we don't often think of the symptoms um, th that I'm going to cover as this specific symptom of uh, dowager's hump or poor posture, but rather um, most people actually notice these things before they even notice their posture because these are things that they see in the mirror and that they don't like. So one of the things and one of the reasons I'm dressed like this is to show you what happens when I alter my posture. And then you'll see some of the symptoms that people are concerned about. So if I'm standing tall, my arms rest by my side. They're not resting in front of me. So they're resting here alongside my body. I have a natural little arch in the small of my back. My mid back is fairly flat and I have a small arch in the back of my neck. My ear is lining up over the middle of my shoulder. And so when I do that, my organs have lots of space to do what they love to do. And I can take nice full breaths, open my ribs, and that allows me, if I wanted to suck in my stomach, which I'm doing a little bit right now for the audience, um, it allows me to engage my deep core muscles appropriately. That also allows me to support my pelvic floor. So when this starts to change and I hang out with my arms in front of me, and as this gets worse, it gets harder for me whew, to be able to hold in my tummy. So now, you know, I'm going to be out here because for me to naturally hold in all day, the way I like, I naturally hold in a little bit in holding an optimum posture, that becomes very tiring. And so what happens is your organs, because the ribs start pushing down, you have a five pound liver, you have your stomach and all your intestines get crushed into this smaller space. And so one of the things people go is, I can't breathe as well. I'm having a little bit of trouble with my digestive system. So those are some symptoms. The other thing is all this pressure down on your pelvic floor makes it harder on your pelvic floor as well. Moving up the line, this forward shoulder posture, any of you who've had shoulder pain, one of the first things the therapist says is, we need to work on your posture. And the reason being is all of my rotator cuff muscles that normally support my posture here and support my shoulders in this optimum position, bring the head of the humerus or the head of the shoulder bone back where it sits like a little golf ball on a golf tee, that's sitting forward. So, so many shoulder problems tennis elbow, carpal tunnel, are all caused by this forward posture. Moving up some more, then we have all the neck problems, the jaw problems, the headaches. We have these little muscles or suboccipital muscles at the base of our skull. When our head is forward, and as I, if every year I get a little bit worse, my head would be further and further forward because I would want to be, still be looking at the horizon and that means all these little muscles get crunched which would lead to headaches. So there were older studies that I remember looking at, oh I have to come back up, that they put healthy college age students in this posture for 15 minutes and just by changing their posture they were getting neck pain and, sh and um, headaches. So. Those are some of the many symptoms that a poor posture and alignment of our beautiful spine can cause.